Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a short vlog on some interesting things I got from the Singapore Science Centre when I went there recently and also a mini DIY tutorial on how to make this quartz crystal necklace and also Merry Christmas because today is Christmas and I made this necklace for myself early this morning so it's sort of like a present from myself to myself so lonely but anyway, I've been wanting to get one of these for the longest time like for from early this year and I saw some blog shops selling it at $40, $48 which I thought was very expensive so I haven't bought any of it so when I saw this thing, this quartz crystal selling at uh, the Singapore Science Centre on a keychain I was like I need to buy it and it was $3.90 which is a lot cheaper and it came on a keychain like this and I sort of dismantled it so in order to dismantle the the quartz crystal from this keychain you need a pair of scissors and also pliers to help you and um, in order to get it out you will need to look for this little gap this little gap at the top of the I don't know what this thing is called connector or chain and then you get your pair of scissors and just you know cut it through Pretend to like cut the the little gap and then this part of scissors is thinner and this part of scissors is thicker so when you cut and you push it downwards you are actually enlarging the gap of the connector so now the gap is open and then you can use some force to just pull it out and ta -da! it comes off so that was how I removed my quartz crystal from this keychain and then if you want to link it to a necklace, uh, this chain is actually from a very old necklace of mine which I don't wear anymore and it was really cheap so I dismantled the charm out of this necklace and then used the chain for my quartz crystal because uh, yeah this is pretty obviously. So you can use the same connector to connect the quartz crystal back to the chain or you can use a new one. I used a new one here. And this quartz crystal already came with the little loop for you to chain it to a necklace but there are some um, quartz crystal at the Singapore Science Centre which did not come with the loop because they didn't come in the keychain form so you might have to take note when you're buying it and yeah this is going to make your life a lot easier compared to if you have to drill the hole in yourself to put a chain through so yeah um, in order to close the connector this connector to make sure the quartz crystal does not fall out after you've joined it to the necklace all you have to do is get a plier and then just... can you see this? close the gap like this Oops. press both of the sides of it and then slowly close it okay ta -da! can you see it's closed? yeah so that's how you make your own necklace and if you have a pair of scissors and pliers there are a lot of things you can do, a lot of DIY necklaces that you can do. You can just grab any old keychain, link it to a necklace that you do not wear anymore and yeah, add on charms. You can even add a few quartz crystal here so it's like a full quartz crystal necklace or something. Yeah, and um, I also got this astronaut ice cream from the Singapore Science Centre which I thought was really cool. I saw Xiaxue's Guide to Life when she tried uh, weird food or something like that and I've always wanted to try it and it says freeze dried ready to eat space food and it's very cool because uh, you don't usually get to eat this and you can get this at the science center for I think $3.90 and um, yeah I actually ate I bought four packets and I ate two packets by myself already and I gave one packet to my sister and brother to share so I'm going to open this now to show you guys how it looks like and it actually tastes really good, that's why I was able to eat two, eat two packets by myself and I ate it like sweet or like a snack. Oh, it's not resealable so once you open it, you have to eat it or like tie it up in a rubber band. And um, this does not have to be refrigerated, it's more like a, like a dry food kind of thing. And this is how it looks like on the inside. And there's a slip over here. And there's three different flavors. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it, Neapolitan or I don't know what. Uh, that flavor where you have the strawberry, vanilla and chocolate together. You know that ice cream flavor. 
So this is how it looks like on the inside. And some of the pieces have broken into like cubes so it's easy to eat. There's a strawberry flavor. This is a strawberry. This is the vanilla. Oh my god! My strawberry just fell. The vanilla. And the chocolate flavored one. And um, I'm going to eat the vanilla one. Because otherwise if it stains my teeth and then you guys will see my teeth being brown. And the best part of this ice cream is that I don't have to bite it. Call it a little I just suck on it until it melts and no, I don't have to bite it. But if you bite it, the texture would be like I imagine uh, not that I bite I bit onto like styrofoam before but I think it'll be something like biting onto styrofoam but it's edible and it tastes nice. So yeah, I'm still sucking on my ice cream. So it actually melts in your mouth and it's really nice for me because um, my braces is making it hard for me to bite onto stuff in case my brackets fall out. So I'm looking for everything that I can suck and swallow. I, oh my god. I'm looking for food that are easy to melt in my mouth by using my saliva. And I can swallow it without chewing onto it. Yeah. Don't think dirty. So, yeah, that's my short vlog on the interesting things I found at the science center. Mm, I hope you guys will go visit the place because it's really cool. The last time I've been there was when I was in primary school, I think. And you know that science, that Einstein person who climbs up and down the stick or the wire or something, he's still there. Still surviving. Thank you for watching. Bye!